Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today I'm here with that Nate guy on YouTube, which many of you probably know, and I'm going to be asking him 10 questions about himself, and he's going to be answering. So, let's get straight into it. My first question is, what is your favorite prop this year? That is actually a kind of tough one mm -hmm. because there's some that I really love but I think if I have to narrow it down to my very favorite one for this year it is uh and I forgot his name with a raven what the heck is his Lord name raven. the Lord Raven yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can remember like Raven and not Lord <laughs> so yeah I mean that guy he was he's huge yep. he's like towering over his neck is going yeah. his beak is going I love that yeah. guy so second what's your favorite prop of all time Man, that's an even tougher one. But, I, all right, I, I'm gonna answer this two ways. I absolutely love the props that have like a little kid that's screaming and trying to get away from the monster. Yeah. <laughs> I love those. Um, but I think my favorite one, because I always come back to him, is Hugs the Clown. Hugs. It just, I, I love the way he looks. Um, you know, he's just, he's towering, he's mm. scary, he's just awesome. Mm. All right, uh, what is your least favorite prop? My least favorite prop? Oh man, I don't even know if I have an answer for that one. Uh, um, I, I mean, I know everybody expects me to say like Johnny Punk, yeah. and, and I totally agree, Johnny Punk was like, probably the worst idea for a prop ever you know but he's become so iconic yeah. on my channel and with the joke you know and the what yeah. are those thing that i almost can't say i hate him uh -huh. but we're, i think we're gonna go with johnny punk okay <laughs> all right so how far did you travel to get to flagship i actually came from ohio which is if you drove straight from ohio here i believe it's about like nine ten hours we stayed one night on the way down here so it ended up being about 12 hours so how long have you been going to spirit you know i've only been going to spirit for maybe four years i mean i was just tied up with so many other things before i really started youtube and i've always loved halloween it's always just been one of my favorite things in the world and I just kind of let it go by the wayside, you know? And when it came to like props, like I had a huge party one year, it took me a year to plan the whole thing and I built all my own props. I built like, wow. you know, life-size Michael Myers and Jason and all that stuff. I had my whole house decked out. It was in a paper and everything. Um, but I didn't go out and buy everything, you know, anything at all, I think. I think I ordered a few masks off eBay or something. Um, but when I was filming, like with YouTube, I used to film, mainly like abandoned things and retail and stuff things that used to be other things um and so i i was going in spirit just because i loved going in yeah. and i was like wait a minute this is like content yeah. here you know this is right up my alley so i was like oh yeah if you watch my older videos i'm all about this used to be hh H. greg this used to be mc sports you know and um and then i was like wait People actually love watching this because it's spirit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that is cool, because that's like a dream come true. <laughs> yeah. So it developed into that. So then I just started going all the time. All right, uh, what made you start your YouTube channel? Well, okay, so my whole life, I mean, ever since like my dad introduced me to a video camera when I was like five years old, I've been obsessed with cameras. YouTube was started in like 2006, 2007. And at the time I was selling on eBay, but I was selling crazy stuff. It's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> um, but I was being, or I was promoting this other company called Auction Gab. And one of their things was make us videos. So I started making videos. We couldn't find anywhere to post them that could handle the bandwidth. So she's like, try this new thing called YouTube. So I looked at it and at the moment it was just, it was nothing. I mean, it was literally, you know, five videos on there or something. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know, it looks like some fly by night thing. And so I kind of just ignored it. That stuff all ended. And then years down the road, I'm like, let's look at YouTube again. You know, cause I really had, I'd still been filming stuff just for the fun of it. But 
I started thinking more about YouTube and I was seeing where people were just, it was just getting just inundated with all kinds of different content. And so I started looking at it and I'm like, hey, this actually looks like it's something that I could do now. Yeah. And not to make a long or a short story long, but I mean, when I first started doing YouTube, I was like, okay, you got to have something that nobody else is doing. And, um, you know, and I'm like, I'm a big guy. And when I was in high school, I used to skateboard and I naturally lost a ton of weight skateboarding. I'm like, let's make videos of skateboarding to lose weight. So that's what I started with. And, um, and it worked. I lost a lot of weight and then I tore my ACL. <laughs> and, um, and then it just kind of progressed from there. Do you have a separate job from YouTube? I don't. YouTube is all I do now. Um, like 11 years ago, I was a nurse and I quit that to sell full time on eBay. And then I like got into YouTube and then YouTube just took over. I loved it. And one day, even though I couldn't really afford to, I just said, that's it. I'm doing YouTube full time. And I went at it and this is what it's become. And this is my full time job now. Nice. So yeah. Uh, what are you excited to film next? I mean, I'm just excited to film this whole season of Spirits. You know, basically what I'm trying to do right now is get to Spirit Halloweens in as many states as I can. And that's, I love a, a challenge and it's fun and you get to spread yourself out and, and get, you know, noticed by other people and everything. And, and the people just love these Spirit videos. So that's what I'm excited about, just taking these trips and filming Spirits. So what advice would you give to someone just starting out on YouTube? I would say if you are just starting out on YouTube and you really want to make it a thing, probably the best thing that I can say to do is be consistent with your videos. Just keep putting them up. I think I did videos for five or six years before it actually took off. So even though I just said I've been doing it for seven years, it must be longer. It must be more like eight or nine. Um, because yeah, it was basically like a full-time job that I was just posting, 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 posting. And, um, and you just have to stay consistent and then it builds from there. So. Okay, so finally, what is your favorite roast beef restaurant? <laughs> My favorite roast beef restaurant is... Look at this, I'm shaking guys because I'm so excited about racks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. Those were 10 questions with that Nate guy on YouTube. Obviously, you guys probably know who this is, but if you don't, go check him out. Link in the description to his channel. Um, but yeah, thanks for answering our questions. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.